Hello, I'm Michelle Serrano. It is April 30th, 2022. This is my story speech for Communications 100. This story involves my mother and I, and it is about how the planning of my 16th birthday party taught me to be more appreciative of the things that I have and the things that people do for me. I hope this story leaves you with a great appreciation for the things that you have and for what people do for you. So the first thing I had to do was open my eyes to what I had. I thought about everything that I use on the daily that I didn't even think about. Things like my phone or like um, having rides to school. I know I don't drive myself and those are things that we tend to forget about and we don't appreciate them on the daily because it's just normal for us. A lot of times we just walk around using things or doing things that we didn't earn ourselves or things that we don't even know where we got them from, but we don't even think about it because we don't have that appreciation for those things. After the planning of my 16th birthday party, I now want to plan things. I want to do more things with my mother and I just want to be more involved because after that I learned to have this appreciation for not only the the physical things that I have, but the relationships that I create with other people. The deeper appreciation came when I saw how much effort she was putting into something that wasn't even hers. This was a birthday party that I've been thinking about for a long time, but I kind of stopped caring about once I was 15. I complained a lot about how I didn't get to have these big parties, and my mom just decided that she was going to try her hardest to do what she can to make my party the best it could be. She would constantly text me, sending me videos and uh, pictures of things that she wanted to do for my birthday party, and at first I was like not having it. I was just like... Um, I'm kind of being bombarded by these things, but then I realized that she's taking time out of her day to plan something for me that I'm going to enjoy, and she's reaching out to hear my opinions on these things. Once I started to realize that she was doing these things for me, I started to, you know, talk back about it. I started to tell her how I felt about the things that she was planning. I would send her videos and pictures of what I wanted because I knew that she appreciated it. And I saw this as more of a way of bonding because we had common ground, which was our birthday party. She would constantly take me to stores, buying hundreds of dollars worth of things at a time just so I would have a special day. And this had never really happened before. So obviously it opened my eyes to what people actually want to do for you. And on the day of my birthday party, everyone woke up early. They all came together and you know cleaning the yard doing whatever they could to help and I kind of just took a step back and I saw what all these people were doing for me and I kind of just compared it to my daily life um I saw how my mom was trying to keep everything under control so that I didn't have to stress on that day because you know it was my day and she made sure I felt like that and I will say that I did have one of the best days of my life on my 16th birthday party I had all my friends come. I didn't have a limit or anything. My mom was just like, do whatever you want. It is your day. This is about you. We even went, we bought, you know, $100 worth of a dress. I never thought I'd have a dress so expensive, but I did because my mom cared. You know, we even started crying in the dressing room because we were both so excited to have this moment together. And now I look back and I think about how I'm so appreciative of all the things she does for me and what other people do for me. And I hope that anyone hearing this just takes a step back, looks at what your family does for you, what what even you can be doing for you, and you just learn to be more appreciative for the things that you have.